Hi everyone. Hello. We are about to start the uh, uh, community code number two. Uh, let's wait for maybe like two more minutes and we can start that the uh, others have the time to join. Chantin, why do you use this background? <laughs> I got I got asked by so many people today. Because uh, I, I think this is a pretty good like marketing stuff. So I can like easily describe, okay, this is a uh, swap and supply. I'm not sure how to deal with this. Mm. <laughs> you know, some some weather. Yeah. Hello everyone. Hello. Is it does it pronounce like jugs or jukes? Like jukes. I think Jukes helped us to write uh, write some tutorials in French, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes, mm -hmm. correct. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so much. Merci. Ah, merci beaucoup. It's actually evening in Taiwan. Yeah. Well done. Afternoon in France. Oh, yeah, yeah. We have many French people here tonight. Really? I think, like French people are the second like largest population in uh, Furukambo's community. Mm -hmm. Their channel is pretty uh, popular or active. Like people, a lot of people talking in French. Every time I want to understand what they are talking about, I, I need to copy the sentence and pass it to the Google Translate. <laughs> For sure. We have huge French community. They're also noticeable in DeFi. There are a lot of good project and developers from France. Yeah, yeah. I hope we can uh, like host a real meetup in, in, in France sometime, maybe next year. This yeah. year is impossible. Maybe next year. Okay, so it's... Jukes, I, I forgot which one is second. Jukes. Jukes. Jukes, okay. I H C L O. Do you want to tell us how to pronounce your full name? Because everyone, I, I describe you to the team member and say, oh, Close. C L O. Close. As if Silo or Silo? Call? Hi. Oh, hi. You, you can just say Clo. Clo? Okay. Hi, Clo. Welcome. Finally, meet you on Zoom. <laughs> we chat a lot on Telegram and um, yeah, glad to meet you here. I'm Hello, not... Andy. Oh, Andy, hi. Oh, Zoe is, is our French guy. So she will talk to you guys in French. Bonsoir. Bonsoir à tous. This one, this one is too easy. Can, can, can you like show other? <laughs> Some really complicated one or a very hard one. Uh, no, just kidding. But if you want to, you can. If you, you if you want to like speaking French, it's okay. Makes uh, makes it to participate as a meeting. Okay, this one's pretty hard. I, I don't understand at all. Thank you for the participation, right? We. Oh, oh. wow. <laughs> oh, okay. Actually, Fruit Cowboy is a French team. 
I'm their <laughs> Asia manager, Asia region community member. Okay, uh, I, I think it's about time. So let's start. Uh, hi everyone. So today is our um, second company call and we invite a lot of uh, full committee members and also um, community members to join this call. And just like uh, the community number one, we will use the community to give uh, everyone who is interested in this project to, uh, about you know, what we have done in the, in the past bond and then what's next for Furu Convo. And uh, of course we feel, if you have any question about the project, about the team or about anything, feel free to ask on Twitter or in the community poll. Um, if you are shy to, you know, talk, you can type in the, in the, in the chat room and then we will have a time to, you know, reply your questions at the end of the call. And I think today we are going to spend about like 30 to 40 minutes to cover three different big topics. And they are how to distribute the uni, uni token. And the second will be the Prada uh, roadmap update to preview and to, to see what have, we have done. And the third will be covering about the open source topic because a lot of people asking about uh, open source. So we have uh, our blockchain guy here to discuss with everyone and of course us about open source. So let's start with uh, the uni token topic, shall we? Okay, uh, Blake, can you like give everyone like a recap and also uh, in charge of this topic. Okay, hello everyone. Enchanté, je m'appelle Blake. <laughs> My name is Blake. <laughs> I'm really glad that for your participation today. And I focus mainly on the market research and I also support on customer service and product planning as well. And today I'm going to briefly like to tell you how what's going on with the uni token. And currently we are we have an ongoing vote to discuss how to distribute some uni tokens. We received the uni tokens from Uniswap because some of our users used our platform to um, use the Uniswap cubes on our platform previously before the uni retroactive events and which means that our proxy contract can get some uni tokens because of lack actions. And so currently we have 800 uni tokens. So we are asking our communities to decide how to distribute those tokens. And the majority vote is, I think it's about mainly the majority is to go to the uni, uh, to go to our users. And so I think may probably go to those 57 users who used the Uniswap cube previously. And the vote is still ongoing. And I will paste the link in the chat room later so you can see more details if you want to. And we are welcome for any ideas, suggestions about how we can distribute them evenly. Yeah. That's all. Okay, so uh, we have some, we, uh, just like uh, Blake says, uh, oh, mercy, Blake, showing off my French. So we have some uh, like uh, really simple uh, poll on both the Discord channel and our Twitter. And for now, I, I think um, most of the people are thinking about uh, split it like 50-50, Evenly, you know, fifty percent to the community, and I mean not community to to those people that who are originally, you know, has the right to get the uni token, and then the rest of the fifty percent goes to the team. This is what we saw on the Discord, and on the Twitter. Let me see. I think people are really really popular, active on Twitter. Yeah, we have like 84 votes on Twitter. 
อ้าวเอทีวัตส์เออ you know people how are people thinking about this the numbers oh okay I got the numbers here so it's uh forty okay so the majority on the Twitter will be forty five percent who goes to the the you know uh give uni to the community a hundred percent to the community you know to those who uh originally own it and the second one second place will be split it fifty fifty um this one has twenty seven percentage and the third place will be support for a team uh twenty one percentage oh uh yeah and yeah does anyone has uh any my thoughts about this. I I saw a lot of people on on Twitter says uh, reply under the tweet says uh, we should uh, uh, give the, the 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 token to the to the team to the dev team. Uh, so uh, to support us, we uh, will feature because uh, since Guru Combo is not charging anything, and of course some people says uh, we should distribute this to. The community, or you know, the people who own it, and I think, from my personal opinion, I'll I'll say like fifty fifty, or you know, give it to those people who own it originally, or give it to the group c o m m u n i t y I'm okay with uh everything. Um, yeah, open, open, open discussion. Like anyone has some thoughts about this, including team members. Jake said that it's okay to do fifty fifty splits. Very kind of you. Wait, do you have any like thought on this? Eight hundred uni. Now I think it's about three thousand US dollars, right? Actually, it's not a really big amount. We have, yeah. Hmm. Not much preference on this. Yeah, like ultimately, like how many people would get to claim uh, a uni? Like, how much are we dividing it by? It might just be too fractional to even matter. Fifty-seven. Uh, if you are speaking of that, like how many people who used? The uni swap queue before the uni retroactive events that would be fifty seven. So some people say that we should distribute those eight hundred tokens to those fifty seven users. So it's about sixteen tokens per person. Yeah, that's pretty good. Like a hundred sixty a person, honestly. Um, but then you divide that in half, and it's like eighty. Uh, but still worthwhile. Yeah. 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 Okay. I I think uh we will still uh keep promoting this in in our community and ask more people to vote to get uh you know more more uh, feedback on this. So we might have a decision. Maybe around like middle of December or end of December, definitely before this year end, and uh, we will announce it on the on the Twitter and then also social media to let let everyone know uh, our final decision. Yeah, But basically we will follow how the community thinks because I think uh, yeah this is why we want uh, you know to 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 communicate with uh, the community. We want everyone's voice to be speak out. Okay, and if we have uh, no no more thoughts about like uni token, let's move on to the second part. So the second topic will be our product roadmap update. Uh, Xing will take care of this. She's our product manager. Um, Xing, okay. you will take it from here. Hi everyone, my name is Xing, and um, I'm gonna share with you about the latest Fru Combo update and um. The recent updates, we didn't post any tweet to announce that. So, if you have noticed, Maker has made a lot of change on their recent votes, and um, so recently we added extra collateral assets to Maker DAO. So for now, um, the addition options for 
um, sending assets to the vault, including Wi-Fi token, BAL token, and GUSD token. So you can use this token to open the vault and then um, generate more DAI to leverage the token that you put in the vault. But however, um, just yesterday or today, that Maker has a new implementation of the DAS 500 DAI, which means whenever you want to open the new vote and generate DAI, the minimum amount of DAI you have to generate will be 500. So this is a new implementation that you might notice if you want to um, do more leverage on the Maker Val uh, Maker DAO cube. And then let's move on to what's coming up um, through Combo. We've been working a lot on the new um, release and there are actually quite a huge release coming up at the end of the year or maybe early beginning, early years next year. So the first one we want to share is that we have been working on supporting synthetics mincher. Mincher, so which they have the LP rewards if you happen to be the liquidity provider on Curve and of the SUSD pool, then um, you can stake the SUSD pool token of Curve on Synthetic and they give you rewards of 8,000 SNX token weekly. But uh, to do that, if you don't already have this pool token or you're not a liquidity provider, you will need to swap your holdings into the token and then get the LP token and then stake to Synthetic. So now we're working on supporting Minter. Um, this work has been done already, but we're going through audit because uh, we want to make sure everything is secured. And um, then we're gonna support borrow on compound, but this is a series of a new implementation. We will have a smart cubes that you can support compound borrow and then smart repay and also smart collect. So as a lot of farmer of you guys that um, leveraging farming on compound to farm comp token is very important to you. And we've been working on this a lot for a while and um, we want to make sure this feature when we release is secure too. So it's also undergoing through audit. So no guarantee of the timeline when it will be released, but um, this work has been completed. So it's just the matter of the time when the audit will be completed. So this is something that we are confirmed that will release, but no timeline yet. And move on to next one is if you have used through combo, um, you will notice that um, for different swap, there is no slippage setting that you can adjust. But uh, we actually right now default all the swapping cubes as 3% slippage. But in the future, you will be able to set slippage for your own. But that will be, that will not be applied to each individual swapping cube that will be the entire combo. So at the end of the transaction, if your slippage fall higher, go higher than the setting that you set, then um, your transaction will be revert. So you will not take the um, unfavorably changed price for you. And also you can set up the gas price. Although most of you, if you use your, use meta, Max, you can already set it constant gas price already, but we want to make it more user friendly. So for people, they can just adjust the gas price on the front end. And the next one, sorry, let me just check if there's any question quickly. All right, so next one is the most in anticipated feature that will be, um, because we noticed there are, uh, are very many transactions that is failed due to the slippage change, especially a lot of users are using Fruit Combo as a tool to make arbitrage trades. And often the failure is because you are building different swapping cubes one after another. And the second one, always that you take the output of the previous cube, cube right? 
So in order to pre prevent more failure transactions, we come up this new feature that we're gonna use our contract that you can finally use the previous cube output as your input to solve this problem. And this is still working process and we hope this will be very helpful to the users. And this is the four coming up feature that we'll be releasing soon. Anyone has a question? So Mary mentioned that uh, Minter is gas expensive. That's, I agree because um, to harvest the rewards in a weekly basis is pretty expensive. So um, for this, hmm, what can we do? I think what we're doing is that we save the step that you go into becoming a liquidity provider, but maybe we can work on something to solve this problem. Um, I can give you the solution at the moment, but um, this question is well noted. We'll work on that too. Yeah. yeah there... Sorry. Jin, you go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. Yes, we have guest tokens supported on Furu Combo. There is a section on the menu at the bottom. It's called utility. Then you can use um, guest saver. We support GST2 and Qi token. And this is the guest token that you, you must have this token in your wallet to burn the, that token in order to save the gas. But um, to make, to cost down that you probably have to own this token when the token is cheap that you bought it and then burn it when it's more expensive. Normally when it's expensive is when the network is very busy and that you kind of do the buy low sell high in order to save the price different of the gas. And also I want to comment on the gas fee is really high uh, issue. I, I think gas fee is a, it's a you know, the po very popular topic or uh, a problem on the Ethereum. And, and this is just personal opinion. So uh, the way I think can Furu Combo help to reduce the gas cost? Um, I would say, yeah, gas cost, it's not like 100% controlled by, you know, it's, it's hard to control or it's hard to reduce it. It seems it's a very fundamental uh, problem. So I will say we'll spend more time thinking about like how full combo can help uh, traders or help users to earn more profit instead of you know reducing their gas cost. So yeah, gas cost will be high and until maybe ETH too, but we will still you know keep building like uh, different kinds of tools or protocols and helping our users to get more profit so they don't have to worry about uh, gas costs. That would just be, uh, you know, the tiny expenses, expense. Anyone has uh, any uh, question about the latest update about Fruit Combo, the products? Okay, no. Then let's move on to the third topic. So a lot of people are asking about uh, is Fruit Combo open source since the day one, a lot of people asking. And then more and more protocols or uh, like you know, other projects uh, communicate with us to see can they like integrate with Fruit Combo. And we're thinking maybe open source is a way to that other people to join this ecosystem or the platform without because it's not we don't we don't want to integrate with you know every protocol. Just we have limited resource, so we have to evaluate it and then see uh, which protocol or which feature is the top priority, best for our users, best for the communities, and then uh, you know we will start to work in on it. But there are too many protocols, so yeah, uh, we will invite the blockchain guy in the Fruit Combo to talk about like the open source plan, not the plan, but thoughts on this. Hello. How, yeah, how should we you, like, pronounce your name? Uh, you can call me Ben or just call me Bunting. Oh, I think both of them are okay. Can I call yeah, you Bong? And... <laughs> okay, that's fine too. 
And yeah, I think that's just like uh, Shen Ting just mentioned, uh, many people have asked that if Blue Combo is open source since almost day one. And yeah, we understand that everyone can have concerns about that if the DApps behaves as uh, what they should, and especially when it comes to like DeFi projects, because it, it comes when we talk about money and uh, everything matters. And but so, as you can see that Fruit Combo has made a lot of changes in this year. And that's also the reason that we haven't published a, a very well organized code base or something like documents yet. But every contract that we used, like the proxy, the handlers, uh, that everything is verified on the ether scan. So it means that you can actually read every line of code if you wish, if you want. So yeah, open source on GitHub. Many thing, uh, I, I think many people think that only the published on GitHub means open source, but uh, that's not really my, really not my in my opinion. I think. Uh, being able to be verified on Etherscan is kind of like open sourcing, but open sourcing on uh, the GitHub is always on our radar. And yeah, we really look forward to that everyone being able to make uh, full combo stronger. And the development of new DeFi are, is really fast. And we know that there are many good progress out there. And there are also some generous developers that they contact us and say that they will they are willing to help and to make full combo better to integrate the projects. And therefore we, yeah, we are cur currently planning how that we can like activate everyone to work together and contribute in the code base and also integrate their, uh, their great works with full combo. But however, considering about the security because like DeFi, it, Talk, we talk when we talk about money and then the security is very important. Um, the development will still require a certain level of like audit or being reviewed by the team and before their work is actually integrated. Uh, uh, maybe from the chaos uh, pull request or simply just deploy their contracts and we can verify if everything goes right. And then we are, we are able to uh, actually integrate the codes into full combo. And about, about the flow, we are still figuring out that how can it be done to make the co-working be uh, um, as friendly as possible. It means that um, when uh, full combo is not only just for the contracts or backends, it's also have a lot to do with the user experience. So I think some, some parts should be uh, considered not only just uh, making a pull request on GitHub and we are still figuring out how can we be, how can it be done very fluently. Yeah. yeah. I wanna add on some points with uh, what Bounting just said. Um, I think a lot of, usability of Fruit Combo is based on the user experience because the entire Fruit Combo product itself is actually very complicated. And there is a lot of efforts and work behind the design of how user can interact with the product. And um, that's the most important thing that if we open source and have everyone, welcome everyone to contribute to the product. Um, how can we collaborate it universally that we can still maintain the same quality of the user experience will be a very, um, very hard challenge for us, but we yeah, exactly. do want that to happen, but it's gonna be difficult that how do you have third party to um, have a new implementation and then does not change the original design of the user flow, that, that will be very challenging. So we'll probably think of if there, there's any way that we can um, open the collaboration with other people, but still maintain your user experience. Yeah, we got the... Uh, uh, feedback or to get a, get a comment on on the open source from the uh, Jukes. 
Uh, he said, I have enough confidence in the team not to require open source. I can understand the stack otherwise, just my opinion. Um, Founding, do you want to respond to this one or? Um, um, in fact, uh, I'm really happy that they, some, some people <laughs> don't think that um, we have to open source everything to gain people's trust because yeah, we, you can see every actions on the ether scan because uh, blockchain is open. Uh, you can see how we behave and, but uh, I think part of the, the target to be open source is also that we don't have, we don't really have time to integrate with every project that, or we to look at every project in the DeFi. So if we, if people have some good opinions, they can also uh, try to uh, maybe actually writing a code or maybe just give us some opinions or some information that some projects will be, maybe will become new, strat new strategies to be uh, integrated into full combo. So yeah, maybe open source with a nice flow can really make um, the development goes better even comparing to currently. Yeah, I think the point uh, from, from our side uh, that we are thinking or planning to do the open source is not uh, just to prove that we don't, you know, take your money or we are doing something bad uh, behind the scene because, you know, on, on, on blockchain, everyone can see, you know, the payment flow and then what you have done. And also you can check the result on Ether scan, like everyone can check it. So. Uh, I think to, it's not to prove that we are not a scam, but it's more important is that a fruit company is a aggregator. And also the, a lot of aggregator on the market right now, and most of them are aggregate like a single uh, sector like uh, DEX or aggregate others. But fruit combo is an aggregator for almost every kinds of uh, money protocol. So uh, we have a we have a DAX, we have lending protocol. Maybe we have an option or something something else in the future. So um, that's a, a really important thing for us to have everyone in the industry in the in the you know the in the space to connect it to to Fruit Combo. So we can actually call us uh, aggregator, and then also this provide our user a lot of uh, freedom or you know really handy for them to do anything they want on, on the DeFi space. And also I, I think there's a important mission for Furu Combo is that um, before uh, we, before Furu Combo came out, uh, you will have to, you, you cannot feel the beauty of DeFi, we call it possibility. Uh, if, uh, before Furu Combo, you have to go to Aave, go to Uniswap or go to every protocol, their website to do what you have, you want to do like manually, step by step and then wait for the transaction and then, oh, okay, I got a USDC and then I can go to other uh, uh, protocol to do the next step. But with Fruit Combo, you can actually, you know, just in a one page, one website, and then control every DeFi money protocol. You want to swap, you want to deposit, you want to blah, 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 you want to borrow or something else. At least really enable people to really feel how you can compose everything together, just like arranging your desktop or, I don't know how to describe that, but I hope every, everyone can understand that, you know, Fruit Combo really in, enable people to feel the beauty of DeFi, uh, which is the compatibility. Yeah, so uh, we will keep working hard to integrate more um, money protocol, innovating a lot of handy feature for people to really use it. Yeah. The Glow has a new comment here. The danger with full open source is that there are sharks who could just steal your work and add a stupid incentive to attract the customers. I think that the reputation and the ether scan information are enough. Yeah, we think a lot, really a lot about if we do the open source, what will it affect it to the Furu Combo itself and also if affected to you know, our users because uh, we, we see a lot of use case, right? Uh, Suji 
no, we don't don't mention their names. Some swap, um, some bring, something like this. So people are keep forking other projects. And I think we, we have really uh, a lot of confidence uh, come up with a solution and also some in incentive stuff and some business stuff that can protect through combos. So that's why we are like somehow confident to say uh, we are thinking uh, about open source and also announce it to the community. But thank you everyone, uh, especially Glo, uh, to to bring this up. I, I know uh, this is pretty dangerous. So yeah, of course I, I need like community members is really important to us because you guys are the, the, the most important treasure, treasure or yeah, the, the most important thing about you know the whole ecosystem because without you guys, uh, Furu Combo is just a website or it's just a smart contract. You know, people using it and people get profit from it. People love it. This is, uh, you know, our mode. Yeah. Wanting, do you have any others about like open source you want to comment on? No, I think maybe, yeah, just, uh, just the things about. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Okay, before we end the call, uh, does anyone has any question you want to ask? You want to communicate with us? Any question will be, okay, accepted. You know, we have a lot of comments here. Okay, um, <laughs> if no one has uh, any question, I uh, have uh, one more thing to not announce, but you know, to, to, to uh, communicate with everyone. So it's uh, last but not least, um, a lot of people are asking about uh, through combo token. And we've been thinking about um, why do we, or why, why, why are people asking about tokens or What's the role of a token in the whole ecosystem? Not just not just through Combo, uh, on the compound for Ave or for anything else. And we've been thinking about this for a long time. Um, I think there are some some points that we want to you know bring up, and then everyone can uh, express some idea with us. So the reason that we are thinking about to a launch a token for through combo is that we, we, we found out that a lot of protocol, money protocol, they want to integrate with through combo. And also a lot of trader um, on through combo create a lot of really cool combo that we've never seen before. Uh, no matter it's an arbitrage, it's to uh, use flash loan to manage your position or other use case, we see a lot of core combos. So we're thinking, uh, since a lot of people want to you know, contribute on the full combo, not just you know, generating new, new trading strategy, but also you know, just like you guys providing a lot of good feedback. Say, oh, we should do this, we should do that, and then oh, we should add this. So I think this is, these are all very uh, valuable. Is it possible that we build a real ecosystem and we give people reward or we give people incentive when they contribute to the ecosystem, no matter you, you uh, build a new combo or you help to integrate a new smart contract or maybe you help to host our community call or host a meetup in France, in Paris. I think, you know, everyone it's for full combo and also full combo is for everyone. So is it possible that we, you know, actually launch a token and then use the token to build a tokenomics and involve everyone here. If you do something good to the ecosystem and give you reward. And I think this is the, the answer is positive. It's really positive about this. We see a lot of uh, uh, successful uh, case like Compound, Aave, a lot. Maybe Uniswap. 
even though they don't let us to you know pass the vote the vote is really the the the, 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 the entry barrier is really really high but still they, they, they contribute to the, the token is contributing to the uh, uniswap ecosystem a lot so there are a lot of successful uh cases so we are thinking maybe full combo uh should participate in this um yeah but to launch a token and then to build eco tokenomics it's you know to have this kind of idea is easy but how to do it when to do it and then you know what to involve what what not to do is a huge topic um, i want to invite like everyone to contribute on this and then you know exchange your ideas or uh yeah to us so today I'm I'm not saying okay I'm going to sell you token no this is not this is not a, a shopping channel this is our community call does anyone have some like any thoughts about like okay if full combo is going to issue a token uh, you have uh, some different opinion or you agree with this I want to starting to hear the feedback or discuss this uh, starting for our uh, team members. Anyone? Um, <clears throat> so I guess I'm not really um, clear where you'd be uh, applying like revenue from or like how you would, like a lot of, a lot of token models uh, profit from extracted fees. So you'd have to either implement some kind of fee structure somewhere or um, some more value in, in like voting on new things. Um, but if you're voting on new things, that definitely, I feel like would require it to be open source to some extent. Um, and so maybe that's part of your decision to lean that way um, because people are gonna have to know what they're, what they're changing. Um, so I'm just curious, uh, are you trying to add fees anywhere or how do you think you would manage um, giving a value to the token? Yeah, it's a it's a great question. So no matter uh, no matter are we going to launch a token or not, we will definitely add a big structure to through combo some sometime in the future, maybe next year, because uh, at the very beginning we just uh, build it and then let people use it. And then we see a lot of uh, you know new requests coming in, and a lot of users are using it. Uh, we need more resources to keep maintaining the project, and then to expand the you know developer team, marketing team, and also make the project stronger. So yeah, we'll definitely apply the fixed structure to the to the to, to the project maybe next year. Yeah, early next year. And also for the governance, yeah, I think this is pretty interesting because. Uh, all the governance token we see or all the governance thing that uh, is happening right now, most of them are uh, money protocols. It's not aggregator. And on the money, money protocol, uh, you can discuss about like uh, which token, which asset I, should, I want to list on Aave, I want to list on Maker, and then what's the you know number detail of this token. But on full combo or on on the on the aggregator, it's not we don't we don't you know ask people to vote which token we should list on because you know the token is originally from like Uniswap or from Compound, so we don't we don't have the ability to to do that. But maybe the governancing on full combo, maybe we can vote says, oh okay, uh, which protocol we should uh, should the full combo team like integrate next. Okay, maybe people, a lot of people say Pico, Open, or others. So people and people vote. Maybe we can do it, like prioritize this. Yeah. What about others that we can we can help? The fee structure, or I don't know, any idea? There are some questions in the chat room. Okay, it's from Flo. I speak with you about Liquid DeFi sometimes ago. Do you have news about something like that or it, it, is it not a priority? It's not really in the Uru combo spirit, I know. 
Um, this one is on our radar, but we are working on something else right now. Um, we don't, we haven't connected to a lot of new protocol or service recently. I, I think everyone can notice that because we are, uh, it's like fundamentally upgrading our smart contract system. And then uh, we are building something that, oh, Shin just uh, announced it, right? Uh, we have some feature that you can use your output as your input. That costs a, a, a lot of resource to do that. It's something looks really simple, but costs a lot of resource. And also um, the borrow, the minter, and also some cool feature that we are going to release coming soon, uh, take us a lot of time. So yeah, we will um, keep prioritize different uh, services and protocols. Do you consider, second question will be, do you consider creating the subreddit or the Sprawl uh, mini social platform? You ask too much for, for you. Subreddit, what, why should we create a, subreddit is it like a form is a is it a like a full combo only form or i'm not really familiar with the reddit i'm i can answer this question mm -hmm. so um to to create a subreddit we actually do need um a certain amount of followers to maintain this um subreddit so um probably you are already a Reddit user, and then if you follow Ether, Eth Trader, and um, there's there's also DeFi subreddit. Actually, there are much discussion. Can um, currently we find most traffic coming out from Twitter and Medium. This will be our main focus. But subreddit open for full combo only is definitely the option. But um, we do not have in, enough. Um, resource or um, to maintain an entire subreddit right there and also to expect a good amount of traffic from there. I, I personally use Reddit a lot, but um, I think um, right now I don't see much traction of DeFi people on Reddit yet. There are discussions, but not as much as on Twitter. So we'll probably plan on that sometime maybe next year. Uh, it's not guaranteed yet. Hope this answers your questions. Yeah, too much work. <laughs> That's very honest. Um, and then for the third one for um, integrating, um, just want to check if I get your question correctly for DeFi saver integrating maker and compound in Aave, do you mean by they have a um, customized dashboard specifically for maker asset management and different section um, tailored for that DeFi? So if I understand you right, we do currently have a maker tailored function on our explore page, which is on the top three options where you can, um, without building any cubes, you can um, leverage, you can close your maker vote on the explore page, just simply by entering, selecting your vote number. And that's it. You don't need to even build any block. And there's another feature of swapping your holdings on compound without building any cubes, it just simply be done by selecting the asset. Um, for the future, we will be working on certain features specifically for this DeFi. But um, so it might not be in the form of like a dashboard for the DeFi. For automation of exposure Oh, okay, so um, yeah, we do. We have been talking about how we can implement in automation on um, through combo, but as you probably aware that um, through combo is mostly for building, creating combos, and how we can implement automation will be a a great amount of work. We will be thinking about that. Uh, we have been planning that and do um, some POCs of it. Um, can have any words about like when we can actually release out the automation uh, feature. Um, 
So on DeFi Saver, yes, you do need a account on that. You use their smart wallet. Um, on Fruit Combo, if you want to do automation, I think we probably also need a smart wallet, right? Fountain. Correct. Probably. I think it's yeah, necessary. that's necessary. Yeah. So, because unless you just give us the money and we are managing for you, but it's better that you control your own smart wallet. And integrating a new wallet system really had uh, a lot of effects on the current user experience. So it needs a lot of work to, to figure out how can we uh, perform the actions fluently and make everyone think, oh, I'm still using the same pattern as before. Yeah, this is uh, definitely a huge thing. We, we spent a lot of time like exploring uh, how can we uh, separate into two different paths. So the path one would be you don't have to uh, deposit any money, uh, aka open an account on through combo. So uh, you can, your money, your die will still stay in your uh, wallet unless you want to use it. And after you execute the combo, uh, we uh, pull your money out and then send it to Uniswap to compound and then send it back to your wallet. So money is always in your wallet. But the path two will be something like uh, automation or borrow or you know other things like leverage. Uh, if you want to use this kind of function, uh, we will have to like help you to open an account um, and then use that account to integrate with those DeFi protocol. It's a technical limitation. So yeah, um, it's really, really, really hard. Uh, it's a big challenge for us to uh, integrate the same uh, the two different paths at the same time on, a, on, a, on a one platform and then let everyone know, yeah. And someone just mentioned about like, uh, oh, someone just, uh, not someone, Glow and, and, and Xing, they just talk about the automation. So I can give more information about automation. So we are cooperating with uh, Gelato to, uh, on, on the automation thing. And we are about to finish the POC, maybe this month. And we are planning to roll more automation thing. And automation is a huge thing about D for DeFi. And we can not only uh, you know, automate to manage your position, but automate everything uh, on the DeFi, especially I just like mentioned before, for example, aggregate every kinds of uh, DeFi money protocol. So we can automate every kinds of DeFi uh, money protocol. So anyone, if you have any idea about like, how you want to automate your combo or any combo, uh, feel free to post it in the combo hacking or feedback in the social media. Yeah, just let us know so we can, uh, you know, up prioritize your, your needs and also give us some idea, like what kind of things that we need to automate. Okay, so I think this one, does anyone has any other question? like to anything, token, product, open source, or no? Okay. Okay, I think uh, if we don't have any further question, we will end the public call here. And thanks everyone to for, 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 for being here to participate in our uh, second company call. Uh, we will host our third community call in the middle or maybe around the same time, like, you know, at the end of uh, December. And we will still keep everyone posted about, you know, how uni token are going to distribute. And also we will give us, give everyone update about the product roadmap and maybe some more exciting news about through combo platform. And yeah, so stay tuned. And good night, everyone, or good afternoon in Europe. Good morning in USA. Bye, guys. Bye. Have a nice day. Thanks, everyone. Bye. Bye-bye. Yes, thank you, and thank you for your work. Thank you. Thank you. Who's this? Me. This was Crypto okay. Belt. Ah, Crypto Belt.
Okay. You haven't talked much. Bye, guys. See you next time.